problem with elimination diets. This is the problem with wrong data. You end up el eliminating large swaths of food, making yourself more and more malnourished. A lot of people in the audience are like, what is the false positive? What is the false negative? I'll give you a really good example. And this happens all the time because people in my program see this where um, it'll, say, um, it'll say Joan had a positive egg result, meaning they can't eat eggs ever for the rest of their lives. And, the, and, and Joan actually had had a previous testing that told her the same thing, right? So Joan is not eating eggs, right? And then what I saw when I did this test, a different test than she had, it also showed that she was egg positive. But it was obvious to me that there was a secret behind that result. It was actually a false positive because there were some vaccination history in her that would produce a false positive on this blood test. So- And you took time to ask her, hey, have you had any kind of you know vaccines that could impact this? And the answer have was- you had this vaccine? Have you had that vaccine? When did you have it? And, the, and, and basically I tied it to the fact was, this was a false positive. And get this, okay? She was able to reintroduce the eggs back without feeling bad, right? And the clinch pin here is that she's a vegetarian. Uh -huh. so, so she needed that protein source. She wanted the eggs in the diet. That was Joan's main protein so source. And so when you looked at that, she was getting sicker and sicker. She was losing weight. Her vitamins were getting lower. Her iron stores were getting lower. Her thyroid was getting lower. Her hormones were getting shut down. And all because she's been told that her eggs were positive when it was a lie. It's a false positive because neither the company nor the doctors that did the tests knew these patterns. Hi, I'm Meg UMD, and I'm a functional and holistic medicine physician and the creator of the Transform and Transform Protocol. If you're interested in learning what are the root causes of all chronic disease, go ahead and click the link in the description where I have a power pack 30 minute training that goes over what are the five pillars of transform. Go ahead, click the link, and I'll see you in that training. So that's the thing is, is people, somebody's vaccination history can actually impact on some of these results. And if you're working with a doctor who doesn't understand that, you're going to be told to eliminate all sorts of stuff. And that's a problem. This is the problem with elimination diets. This is the problem with wrong data. You end up el eliminating large swaths of food, making yourself more and more malnourished. And in the meantime, how many of your symptoms, even chronic pains related to low iron, low B12, low vitamin D, low thyroid, low hormones, a ton as a result of either elimination diets that takes out a lot of food or test results erroneously misunderstood by doctors being presented to you as fact when they're a fiction. I've been through all the elimination diet hell myself. I went through all the testing hell myself. I've spent, you know, countless hours, you know, researching this and figuring out I, I've gone through my negotiation with whether I should be gluten free or not, you know, and trying to understand all those pieces. These are my own struggles. And these are my children's struggles as well. But food is a major trauma for so many people. Food trauma is really real. And if you know what I'm talking about with food trauma, type it in chat, mm -hmm. right? The problem is if you're traumatized by eating food because of what you think are random reactions that really aren't random, and then you have doctors that can't help you, hopeless years of symptom adding on symptoms with people who really don't know what the heck they're doing, it can feel really awful and you become traumatized you're scared to eat. But the problem is you have to eat. Yeah. You have to eat. So you have to like literally inflict trauma on yourself three to five times every day with something that should be really nurturing, loving, and healing for you. And it can be. If you're scared to eat and you're having this anxiety and you're having that fight or flight feeling when it comes to food, now we're getting new issues that are making the problems worse as well when you're talking about what's going on with adrenals. Well, and that's the thing is, is that, you know, when people talk about it, food trauma is really real. You have to eat. So getting food certainty, certainty around your food with data is absolutely essential. And the data isn't just the allergy testing, which I am a proponent of. You got to get accurate testing for the intolerances, right? But the data is also from digestion, from also your body removal of those foods. And what I teach in the program is the reintroduction of food. So when you're thinking about what's the difference between food sensitivity and food mapping system, it's, this is one way to illustrate it is number one, we just talked about the da data and testing conundrum. You have to get the right test, which you will in the program.
Number two is this is the data mastery training. That's the piece that's missing for patients and for doctors. Okay. The training that's provided to understand how these pieces of data all fit together, mastery level, like literally a master's degree level that providers go through using the same modules. When we certify a provider, we they actually go through the same training that the clients go through. This is the data mastery training around food mapping. And then here's what's also missing. A lot of people don't get to troubleshoot then and one-on-one -on -one implementation to look at those results after they've learned the materials to work with us on a live week where for an entire week we go through results where you not only learn from your results, but you learn what I call hyper learning 10 times fast. To learn more about the food mapping system and my food mapping masterclass, click the link above or below this video.